Ready, show Walter Pilot. We're heading up to one of his remote lakes to put some walleye in there, Eddie. You bet, Rod. How you doing, folks? Good to see you. Midwest Outdoors here. We're heading up north to uh, Lake up about 80 miles north of the base here. We're going to try to get some real nice eyes on film for you today. We're talking northwestern Ontario fly and fishing at Show Walter's Flying Outpost. Let's throttle up, Eddie. Let's go to work, Rod. Didn't take very long today, Rod. Beautiful day for walleye fishing up here, for sure. Oh, it's a spectacular lake you flew us into, too, Eddie. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Oh, this is a beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty one to start her off, for sure. How deep of water were we there? Right now, we're in about 27 feet. These fish are starting to go into their fall patterns early here, so. About as pretty as they come, Rod. Oh, my Michael, nice, nice cold fish. Color. Nice. And we're using 3 8 ounce jigs, right? 3 8 ounce. Uh, I little, got a fireball on. You got a nice fish, Roger. A little fireball, another thumper, yeah. Beautiful fish. Wow. No, all your lakes have walleye in them, right? They all have walleye in Northern. We do have uh, one pine needle lake. Remember, that one is trout in Northern, but we subsidize that one with uh, a combo trip where we can take you to a walleye Northern lake, like this here. This particular lake has all three species. Beautiful fish. Another chunky one. Beautiful. That's probably the smallest one yet. Now that would be a good one for shore lunch. Right? That would be a good shore lunch fish if we were shore lunching today. They're using jigs and so I decided to throw on a jigger wrap. You know, I've been fishing quite a bit this summer. I've had a lot of good luck with these jigger wraps. If the walleyes are finicky, that reaction bite will get these fish to bite. Look at that. Nice fish. Beauty. Chunky one on the fire tiger. Yeah, that's a good alternative to using live bait. You can conserve your shiners or your night crawlers if you're using a jig and wrap. And oftentimes when you get on these schools of fish like this, you'll catch just as many with a jig and wrap as you will with a jig and a bait. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm grabbing the jig and wrap. <laughs> it's on Sold. now. Holy moly, this is hot and heavy here. <laughs> Let's see how quick we can get them when we start throwing jig and wraps, all of us at them. Does it get any better than this? It doesn't. There's a nice one. Yeah, they're getting in the chin. They're pinning yep, it hitting to on the, the way it, bite. Pinning it to the bottom. Beautiful fish. Well, Roger, we've had a lot of fishing trips together. This is a good one today for <laughs> sure, isn't it? Look at that. Kids showing us up a bit in the front. No. We're using two simple spinning combos for these walleyes. Uh, Eddie's using a six foot three medium power. You can use a fast or extra fast action. And he's pulled up a monofilament line. Just six or eight pound is all you need. And make sure you bring a change of line because you're gonna be weeding through so many walleyes over the course of a trip up at Show Walters. So make sure you bring some fresh line. Uh, Michael and I are fishing with jig and wraps now and we're using Suffix 832 braid for our main line knotted to a suffix fluorocarbon leader. Now the key for jigging wraps is to use a seven or seven foot two length rod, medium power, but extra fast action for sure. You need that faster tip. Those two setups work great for walleyes up here, but you can also use those same rods for catching the lake trout that are available in some of Showalter's outposts. 31 feet again. Nice one too. Magic depth, that midsummer pattern. And still a long point that's coming off of the shore here. We've just been following the contour out back trolling. Yeah, it came off that real deep ledge over there on the east side. Now we're just on a big flat out here, and uh, we've never fished here before on this particular spot. But man, is it a good one. The hummingbird found it, and the fish yeah. are here. This Helix 9 is unbelievable. Another nice one. Dinner fish. Yep. The biggest thing is I'm trying to do is just keep it right on the bottom. That's nice dinner fish, beautiful. Oh, ginger's on. There's a double. That's a good one too, Aiko. Even the cameraman boat is getting into them. That's perfect. Nice fish, bud. Beautiful. Eddie, talk about how your outpost cabins are equipped. Well, all the Showalter outpost cabins are uh, fully equipped with uh, hot and cold running water, showers. We got all solar lighting, a lot of solar fridges and stuff coming on board with the new uh, 
green technology in place now. 14 foot, 16 foot Aluma Marine or Lund boats like we're in now, eight horse, nine, nine, 15 horse Yamaha motors. I mean, these cabins are as nice a cabins as you're gonna find for the, I mean, we're in the middle of the bush here. They're beautiful. Guests bring their own food and beverages and you provide the rest. Yes, you bet, yep. They bring a food, uh, sleeping bag, uh, their fishing gear. We supply all the return air fare out of the air base, the cabins, boats, motors, unlimited fuel, as well as a fishing license. Uh, yeah, they don't have to bring a lot of stuff with them. That's nice. a nice fish there. Well, we've shown you in just a couple hours what a Showalter's Flying Outpost can deliver for walleye fishing. Excellent average size, beautiful numbers of fish. Eddie, if folks want to reach you, how do they do it? Uh, best place to get a hold of us is on our website at showalters.com or at our phone number 807-222-2332. And we look forward to seeing you all next summer on a fishing trip. I'm Roger Cormier, Michael Showalter, along with Eddie Showalter. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. Great job, guys.